Okay, hello. Um, so I'm interested in one of these, so I figured. I'm oh, sorry, one more. I should also do one of these. Um, I don't really know what to talk about at this point, but um, let's see. There's. I just realized that I have like a sunroof in my bed. Look at this. Okay. Um, there's... Well, my character is Rav. Is my phone going off? No. Um, there's Rav. That's my character. That's my bro. That's my guy. I don't know what I'm going to do after him. He's kind of my ultimate character. Like... I don't know what I'm going to do with anybody else, because this guy's kind of my guy. I have to work on that. Got to make the other ones good, too. Ugh, how do I get my whole face in here? Okay, here we go. Okay, so, um, yeah. After that, I don't really know what there is to do. Um, but you've got his relationships with the other characters, which is really fun. Um, I guess I should just talk about his feelings about everybody. Oh, my. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just talk about his feelings about everybody. Because he's talked to everybody now. So, we'll start with Lester. Lester is his best bro. They're major buddies. They just like to talk about things and fuck around. And, um, it's really fun times. They constantly just like get in trouble and do weird shit. Um, constantly like picking on people. God damn. I can like see myself and I'm like, God, Courtney, you look like a fucking mess. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And then you have, um, Felton. Bath. What's going on here? Okay. Faf. Faf is so fun because Faf is like. I don't know. Faf is just. It's so great because they get along <laughs> so well. Raf acts like his best friend, boyfriend, personal trainer. <laughs> um, so. He wants Felton to stop being so fucking lazy all the time. And, like, actually go and do something. But. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to skip over Maria. Because that's going to take a while. Um, his feelings on Anna. He doesn't know what to feel about Anna. Because. <laughs> Oops, I almost dropped my guitar. <laughs> he doesn't know what to feel about Anna. Because he was expecting her to be really rude and abrasive about him asking her questions and then she wasn't and she was actually really cool and really chill but here we set this up that surprised him because he he thought she'd be really put off by his rude questions and he wasn't she wasn't um Okay. Breeze. Breeze, he feels like, is really similar to Maria. And so that makes him really want to fuck with her. But at the same time, he thinks she's really cool. And he wants to like, be her friend and to get to know her. And like he wants to chill with her. He wants her to be happy, but he also really wants to kill her because that's what he wants to do to people that he likes. Um, yeah. Mast, Mast, he feels like, because he's, he's pretty good at reading people, he feels like he knows that Mast is really like 
chill on the outside, but that there's a lot of like stuff going on on the inside. And he feels really bad that that is happening to his friend here, but you know, there's not much he can do. Um, but when Mast said the whole thing about drowning, Raph's mind automatically went, "Why doesn't he want to drown? Why can't he? Wouldn't it be really interesting if he drowned?" So that's an interesting little. Essentially, the temptation was there, and so he's going to just kind of nab that. Um, let's go, Hannes. <laughs> I really apologize about Raph's interactions with Hannes because he's kind of just being an asshole. He's matchmaking, but he finds out quickly afterward that um, Vila is a special type of person. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Hannah's... Oh, Sarah just came online, too. Hey, Sarah. Anyway, yeah, Hannah's... He doesn't... Like, he likes Hannah's, but... I mean, he's met so many people now. He kind of doesn't... There are some people he just... He likes them. Because he likes to fuck with them. Um, and Hannah's is one of those people. He feels really bad for him because his kid's self-esteem is, like, zero, but... Okay, Kaylin. Kaylin, he doesn't lie. Raph doesn't lie. Raph never lies. But he decides to lie to Kaylin, and he's really bad at it. And, you know, she's suspecting that he's not what he's talking, like, he's lying, but... Like, he's going, by the time he runs into her in the arena, he's going to have completely forgotten that he even introduced himself as Sultan. So... Oops. Doobie. Doobie. Do Raph was expect. it was kind of like Anna. Raph was expecting her to hate him. And she didn't. And she had a really unexpectedly positive reaction to him. So that was like a whoa. So um, and then he kind of got stuck in the elevator with her, and they were like going back and forth talking about you know killing and all that. And he, he had a good time with that conversation. He really wants to kill her, and when he doesn't get to, he's gonna have a little bit of a meltdown because he really wanted to be the one to do that. So um, yeah, that's gonna be a big deal for him. Um, let's see. Kelly. He was really interested in Kelly, and then he wasn't really interested in Kelly because she wasn't giving him anything to go off of. He didn't know how to make her angry. So he left. And he's not. I don't know if he's even going to run into her in the arena. Like. Pinus. <laughs> um, so Jen hasn't replied to that yet. But, um, <laughs> Raph's gonna get hit and it's gonna be fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, he's just. Yeah. Found those without saying. Let's do the mentors that I have interacted with. Brian. Brian, it was like a. He didn't really care. Like, he literally didn't have two fucks to rub together about Brian. He thought he was boring. But then the whole Breeze thing happened and he felt like. Oh, maybe he's not that boring. And so he kind of pursues that, and Brian breaks really fast. And so Raph considers that a personal victory. That not only did he make Brian angry, but he kind of made the hallucinations come back. Which is really awful, but that he feels like he did a good job there. Um, let's see. Janessa. <laughs> she turns him into a 12 year old boy like like he doesn't know what to think about her she makes him act really differently um she's making him question the things he does cause like he's still gonna act the same way around others but he's like why am I not doing to her what makes her different and he doesn't know because he that's kind of a thing about Raph, is that he's good at reading other people, but he doesn't really understand his own 
personality, he doesn't really know what he wants out of anything. So, Janessa is an interesting interaction for him because she's making him realize how much he doesn't understand himself. Okay, um, back to Maria now. <laughs> Maria, so, Raph hates the wealthy, famous families of his district. But, the Mercers, the Mercers he thinks are interesting. But Maria, he doesn't associate with Mercers. He associates her with herself because she's kind of a separate entity for him. Um, and he really loves that about her because she acknowledges the fact that her family happened. But she's not going to let it happen to her. So, um... Mm. <sighs> this turned into a fucking movie. So one second, I'm just gonna end this.